Vivian? Look at that. <laughs> The Van de Graaff generator, also known as the electrostatic generator, and how it works. Let's learn physics. This is the Van de Graaff generator, also known as a scary electro ball. And the first thing you want to do is take your cell phone and put it far, far away. Because both I and Mr. Mason, yeah, well, we shocked our phones, destroyed our phones, and that's not something you want to do. So you can turn this thing on, start playing with it. It has a volume control. This thing works pretty well. Gives up a pretty good charge. Bring your fingers close to it. Builds up a charge on you. Shocks to your feet. This is all grounded down here, separated from the negative electric charge at the top by this insulative tube. And you know that your muscles are run by electricity, so you can just take your arm here, connect yourself to ground so you get the best shock And watch your muscles get actuated. When you get an anatomy lesson, you learn which muscles are doing what with what fingers. Or the back side, fingers tend to open up a little bit. This is all involuntary motion on my part. Completely overpowering any of my brain signals to the muscles. But check that out. Hair is also standing up. It's pretty cool. Also do the same thing with your face. Now your eye is pretty safe. Your eye, if you run your eye into something like bam into the wall, it doesn't matter because you've got a nice brow ridge, you've got the nose, you've got the cheekbone to protect you. It's the same thing here. This is round because lightning rods are pointed. It's round to build up as much charge as it possibly can. And then, again, to discharge the best you possibly can. Reach your face in. Take a plastic rod and animal fur and do this. Negative charge, positive charge. This thing loses electrons, this thing gains electrons. Well, what's happening down there? Exactly the same thing is happening down there. Show you that in just a second. Transporting the electrons up to the top, dropping them off, and all those electrons are spreading out around the top. It's nice and round so that it builds up charges. It's not pointy so that it doesn't lose charges. And the first time I had one of these things, I needed to replace the belt, so I took a little screwdriver and jammed it in there a few times to pop off the top. These are actually pretty easy to remove. But I put a screwdriver in there. When I put that screwdriver in and turned it, this is made of aluminum, and it put little tiny nicks in the outside of that. And when I put it all back together with the new belt, it was working pretty well, building up charge, but it was leaking. It was leaking off the little points, and I could hear it coming off those points. And I had to take the thing off again, file it down, all the little extra edges, I had to file them down to make sure that they were nice and smooth. When I put it all back together, it worked really nicely again. You don't want points. You want this thing to be as smooth as you possibly can get it so that it builds up charge because you want it to build up as much charge as possible, hold it there, and have the most dramatic demonstrations possible. Here's the old one. This is the one that we had when I got here 25 years ago. Top comes off nice and easily, but you can see that it's dull. It's got some oxidation. It's got a bunch of dents in it. That's definitely going to cause problems with it building up charge. Doesn't work that well anymore anyway. So up here at the top, you have the top pulley for the rubbery belt. Made of plastic. It's an oil product. It acts just like any other piece of plastic. The balloon on your hair, the comb through your hair. This is just a pulley at the top. Here's the, the drop-off point. The electrons are brought up by the belt and those electrons get dropped off here and they spread out around the outside of the sphere and you get a big charge. If you have me walking around inside here, if you're little enough to walk around inside there, you would not feel any charge unless you're at the drop-off point because all the electrons are repelling each other and those electrons are moving to the outside, very outside. Inside you feel nothing. There is no electric field inside a Van de Graaff generator inside a hollow piece of metal that's charged. Down here at the bottom, you have a motor, which is of course connected to the electricity, and the motor runs and turns this pulley, and that pulley has a fabric on top of it. That pulley fabric is like wool, probably, and animal fur. The animal fur and the plastic belt are rubbing on each other. The plastic picks up excess electrons and runs them up to the top. 
Now, because that pulley doesn't have a whole lot of surface area, it doesn't have a whole lot of excess electrons that it can supply, you've got to have this, which is connected to ground, the whole base and that piece connected to ground through that third plug, and that supplies continuously, supplies electrons to the pulley to neutralize the pulley so that that belt, every time it comes around, can continuously supply electrons to the top so that it can then continually discharge. The one I'm holding is a discharge sphere connected to ground and you can see I'm just balancing it on my hand and there's a traction. And after the shock, no more traction so it springs away. Traction and then this thing will build up to maybe 500,000 volts. It's huge, but as you get them closer, the voltage necessary for the shock, the amount of charge necessary for it to lightning, is less. Rubber belt running on the pulley, turned by the motor, charging by friction down at the bottom. Plastic belt picks up electrons, runs the electrons up to the top, which is a metal sphere, separated from the bottom by the plastic tube, and it drops off at point B and around the outside all the electrons. Three dimensions, not just two, but all the electrons are on the outside repelling each other. Then over here you have the discharge sphere charged positively because it's connected by that wire to ground. Electrons get pushed down into the case and out into ground and that thing is charged positively, positively eventually builds up enough charge that there is a lightning discharge between the two no more attraction the electrons are pushed away charging by induction put that thing on there start it up ah, pretty cool do the same thing with vivian look at that <laughs> little tiny piece of something or other Tape a cup on there filled with little hole punches. And they polarize the wall. Lots more demonstrations that could be done, but that's basically how it works. Be careful with this thing. It tends to mess with your heart if you have a heart problem. But enjoy. Thanks for watching Learn Physics. And thanks for that thumbs up too. Really helps a lot. New videos most academic weeks. Subscribe for more. I've even got education ideas, Freaky Physics Friday, and Tech Tip Tuesday. And for bicycles, motorcycles, and family adventures, it's my other channel, Bike Physics. You just learned physics.